Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now, first off, guys, I just want to apologize for the lack of content over the last few weeks. Um, I, it's just been a hectic month uh, last month, so uh, don't worry. Uh, this summer, I've got lots planned uh, for this summer, and we're going to get back into the swing of things. I sent, I keep seem to say that a lot, uh, just to late, but I do promise you this time, there's a lot coming up. There's some exciting new products uh, to that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, some of them brand spanking new, and some of them I've uh, had for a while and not even re been released in the country. So there's a lot of exciting things coming up on the channel. Uh, so stay tuned. Now, before I get started, a quick mention to my sponsor, SV Boney. Now, if you're not familiar who SV Boney are, well, they're a supplier of all things astronomical, basically. Uh, but what makes them stand out from the crowd is their prices and the quality that comes with their prices. Unbelievable, in uh, in my opinion. Now, I've been using SV Boney for years, way before my uh, sponsor or even my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so they've certainly got my seal of approval. So if you are in the market for anything astronomical, uh, you will be not only doing me a small favor because I, I do get a small percentage of any sales done in the link below, uh, but you'll also be doing yourselves a massive favor uh, and getting yourselves a bargain basically. So link in the description below. Well, with that being said, on with today's target, which is an absolutely fantastic little target that, to be honest with you, I can't believe I've not covered it before on this channel. And that is M64, or also known as the Black Eyed Galaxy. Well, I say also known as, it's got a several names actually, one of them being the Sleeping Beauty Galaxy, or even the Evil Eye Galaxy. But to be honest with you, a black eyed galaxy, I think, suits it perfectly. Because if you do look at this galaxy, you can see if you take the shape of the galaxy, that represents the eye. And then we've got like this black dust cloud, and that's exactly what it is. It's just a cloud of dust that uh, goes uh, in front of the galaxy, which gives it an illusion of like a bruising, if you like, under uh, the eye. Um, or a black eye. Now, even though we are sort of not really in the galaxy season at the minute, uh, that is if you are watching this video mid-June, um, the, there's still chance to see the black eye galaxy or M64. Now it is, it is towards, as it comes towards the early weeks of July, we are going to start losing it in the uh, north uh, northwest. The absolute ideal time of month is like March through to early July. So there's still time to see this uh, lovely galaxy. And at the minute, it's still relatively quite high in the sky. So let's have a quick look of where to find M64, the black eyed galaxy. Right, folks. This time of year, mid-June, if you're watching this mid-June, uh, you want to identify the constellation Boots, or Booties, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and it's a very distinctive constellation because it's got a famous star, Arcturus, in it, the uh, lovely bright uh, orangey yellowy star, pretty much unmistakable. Now, once you've identified uh, Arcturus, you want to be moving across just ever so slightly and there's three very faint stars that make up the constellation Coma Ber uh, Berenices. Now, <laughs> this is going to be the biggest challenge of actually finding this target, M64, because as you can see, Coma Berenices is not that bright. It's, in fact, it's a very, very faint uh, constellation and it's easily um, misidentified with, obviously, there's a lot of stars around it, but you can work it out. Um, it's uh, not as difficult as it may at first look, uh, but just take your time. But what's going to be really important for this constellation um, more than anything is dark skies. Uh, and any time that you're looking for uh, deep sky targets, you do really want to be uh, looking for dark skies. Now, if you can't get, you know, get away to dark skies, it is so important to give your eyes at least 30 minutes 
in the dark or get get them 30 minutes to get dark adapted uh, before even attempting to try and identify a coma berenices um, because that's the average time the human eye takes to actually get dark adapted but once you've actually found it and you're confident that you're looking at coma berenices these three stars here um, M64 is relatively easy to find because as you can see uh, Coma Berenices actually forms like a kind of a triangle well it does form a triangle especially if you complete this bottom line here and M64 lies right there now as you can see it's right on the line of this bottom imaginary line that we've just made well they're all imaginary lines aren't they in the night sky but this added line i've put here makes that triangle and as you can see it's just slightly off the center uh, so you can see where you need to put your finder scope um, is just roughly by using that triangulation method there um, the m64 is relatively easy to find now a quick mention about coma berenices this strange little faint constellation uh, because it's quite interesting actually well all the constellations are interesting because they all tell a small tale and uh, coma, coma berenices is uh, actually represents queen berenices the second of egypt who supposedly sacrificed uh, long hair yes you did hear right uh, long hair um, as a votive offering uh, now yes believe it or not one of the constellations if we put the drawing on one of the constellations represents a lock of air who'd have thought it eh? <laughs> now whenever you're searching for deep sky targets or any target really in the night sky it's always best to start with a low powered eyepiece that's something like a 25 millimeter or even above that uh, and uh, preferably one with a nice wide angle or, or, or sorry a wide field of view and this is going to give you the uh, best chance of actually seeing a more not so much magnified uh, vision of the sky that means it's not going to be as zoomed in you're going to see more of the sky and it's going to be a lot easier to um, see these deep star sky targets um, another little tip that you can do um, if you're finding that you can't find it you just simply cannot find it uh, you've tried and tried and tried is to actually go the opposite way now this sounds a little bit counterintuitive but it's it, it actually works sometimes and that is to increase the magnification so maybe if you're using a 25 to knock it up to maybe a 10 mil what this is going to do is narrow the field of view going to zoom in a little bit more it is going to cut the light down but sometimes it really does make those galaxies pop uh, but uh, that's just your second option. Uh, first option is always low magnification. And remember, folks, usually any target in the eyepiece is going to look small. Uh, that's something that a lot of people are surprised by, just how tiny uh, things can actually look in the eyepiece because we're so used to seeing photographs. Uh, and photographs are obviously blown up. Um, and so you'll never ever see an image as big as you do in a photograph, unfortunately. But that seriously doesn't mean that this, uh, the M64 isn't beautiful in the eyepiece uh, because you're only going to need something like 100 millimeter telescope or above now admittedly this is more of a reflector type telescope target because uh, you are going to need like a kind of like I say 100 millimeter four inches of aperture or more the bigger the better basically uh, but with something like a, a, a small four inch reflector you should still um, under the right conditions be able to make out that dark band running through the galaxy now one more important tip uh, to always remember when you're searching for any target in the night sky is to use tiny tiny movements uh, th this is where if you do have slow motion controls on your telescope it's always best to v uh, roughly get your telescope pointed to where you want it to be and then start slowly moving your slow motion controls around because uh, just like a, a couple of uh, a centimeter of movement is like moving a, a massive amount in the night sky so you want tiny low magnification tiny movements well 
best of luck finding the Black Eyed Galaxy M64. I'm sure you'll find it. Just take your time, follow those tips. Well, that's it for another video, folks. It's great to be back. And don't forget, stay tuned because there's a lot coming up this summer. And uh, don't forget to follow that link in the description if you're looking for a new telescope, new eyepiece, whatever it may be. Believe me, it's worth your while. Well, in the meantime, folks, take good care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.